Hello, good morning. I'm your teacher, Nirhana. Since we've already talked about a lot of literature such as stories and poems, now let's talk about a big folklore titled The Ignorant Poor Man and the Priest by the author Damiana L. Eugenio. But of course, let us talk about the author first. So why is it important to talk about the author? Knowing the author will also help us understand their background which may sometimes affect their perspective views in writing. Also, we'll be able to know the emotions and feelings the author wants to convey and to credit them properly on their literary works. So, let's go! Dimiana L. Eugenio was born on September 27, 1921 at San Miguel, Bulacan, Philippine Island. Died on October 10, 2014 at the age of 93, also here in the Philippines. A female Filipino author and a professor, also known as the mother of Philippine folklore and received that award in the year 1986. She is known as the Professor Emeritus in the Department of English in the University of the Philippines, Vice President for External Affairs of the Philippine Folklore Society, and here are the following schools she attended. University of the Philippines, Mount Holyoke College, University of California, and Nueva Ecija High School. Here are the following awards that she received. Inana Folklore ng Pilipinas from the UP Folklorist Incorporated and the UP Folklore Studies Program in the year 1986. Professional Achievement Award in the Humanities Folklore Studies from the UP Alumni Association 1987. National Book Award for Literary History for Awit at Corrido from the Manila Critics Circle, 1988, Achievement Award in the Humanities from the Philippine National Science Society, 1989, Catholic Mass Media Best Book in English for Philippine Folk Literature, The Folk Tales, 1990, 1991 Philippine Board on Books for Young People Life Achievement Award, Gawad CCP para sa Sining, Cultural Research, 1992, Gawad ng Pambansang Alagad ni Balagtas from the Union ng Manunulat sa Pilipinas, 1993, and the Citation for Philippine Folk Literature Series from the Manila Critics Circle, 1995. So from those aforementioned literary works, we can um, surely tell that she is a great folklorist. She is a great Filipino female author. Now let's proceed to the elements of the story. The characters are the poor man who went to the church for the very first time to pray for what he needs and the priest who gave the poor man silver less than the amount the poor man needed. The setting inside the church and the theme is believing or faith in God. And now, let's read the story together. Lend me your ears and listen carefully. To ignorant poor man and the priest. Once there was a man who went to church on Sunday. For the first time in his life, he heard the priest say, Brethren, pray earnestly, and in your prayers, ask him anything you want. If you ask him in earnest, he will give you what you ask. The man committed this sentence to memory, and since he was very poor, he made up his mind to ask God for some money, and he went to church every day and prayed devoutly. His prayer was as follows, O oh God, I ask thee to give me 100 pesos. If you give me less than that amount, even a centavo less, I will not get it, for I need 100 pesos. You said that anyone who asks thee earnestly will receive what he asks for. My God, hear my prayer. The man repeated the above prayer for how many times, while kneeling, and when he got tired, he retired. Some months elapsed, and the man went to church daily. The priest began to take an interest in him. One day, the priest woke up early and hid himself near the place where the man was wont to kneel. 
he was surprised to hear the prayer of the man. He then decided to see whether the man was true to his words or not. The next day, he put 90 pesos near the place where the man used to kneel and watch whether or not the man would get the money since it was 10 pesos less than what he asked for. When the man arrived, he took up the money and began to count the silver pieces. When he had finished, he said, Oh good God, I thank thee for hearing my prayers, but I ask you for 100 pesos. I also said that I would not get any amount less than that sum. But since I am in need, I will get this with a happy heart and remember, O oh God, that you still owe me 10 pesos more. As this man was accustomed to say his prayer very loud when he uttered the last sentence of his prayer, the priest burst into laughter whereupon the man pocketed the money and went home. And that's the end of the story. And before ending this presentation, I would like to tell what are the moral lessons I've learned in the story. First, no matter what social status we have in life, whether we are rich or poor, we must always remember God. Second, do not be mad if God didn't give you what you asked or what you prayed for because who knows he he's may be preparing us for more than what we ask for and god knows more than anything else and third pray not just because you need something but because there are a lot of things that we must be thankful for thank you